G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to simply and easily work out, well, tips at the end of a meal. So let's launch into this and give you a couple of examples. So let's give a bill straight off of $46 and we'll work out a couple of different tips based on this. We're gonna work out a low end tip of 10%. That's a really easy one to work out. We're then gonna work out a pretty standard tip, which is 15%. Then we're gonna be working out, well, a bit of a bigger tip of 20%, and then an even bigger tip of 25%, and how you would go through and work out these different tips here. It's pretty easy. So let's start out with a 10% tip. How would you work this out? Well, 10% of a number is literally one tenth of that number. So the way we work this out is we're going to get our 46 here, and we're going to divide by 10. If you wanna work out a 10% tip, just divide this number here by 10. And that's as simple as moving the decimal place one time. So this is 46, like $46 like that. We move the decimal place to the left one time and we end up with $4.60. Easy, there you go. That's the first tip of a 10% tip. The second tip we're gonna work out now is a 15% tip. Now what I'm gonna alert you to here is this is made up of two parts, both of which are pretty easy to work out. It's made up of a 10% part, that's the first part, and a 5% part, okay? Because 10 plus five is equal to 15%. So how do we work out each one of these parts here? Well, we worked out this 10% part just before. We got this and we divided by 10. So we got $46 and we divided by 10, and we got this answer of $4.60. The way that we work out this 5% part, well, 5% is half of 10%. So we're gonna get this amount here, and we're going to halve it. Okay, so we're going to get this amount here and we're going to divide it by two and see what it equals. Half of $4.60 is $2.30, really simple. And then we're going to add these together. So we have a total tip here of $6.90. So you work out 10%, divide by 10, and then halve that amount and then add your two results together. Simple. Okay, how do we work out a 20% tip? That's pretty simple. We're going to divide by 10, which was pretty easy. We just moved that decimal place one time. But 20% is made up of two lots of 10%. So we're then just going to double our answer. So first off, what we do is we work out 10%. So 10% is $4.60. We worked out it before, and we're going to double this. So what's double of $4.60? Easy. It's going to be $9.20. Finally, we're going to work out a big tip, which is 25%. So how do we go through and work at this? Well, 25% is literally one quarter. So we're just gonna get our $46 here and divide by four and see what that equals. So 46 divided by four, well, that's going to be uh, $11.50. Easy. So that's how you go through and you work out these different tips here. So what about we do these for another one? So first off, I'll go through those once again. 10%, we're literally gonna divide by 10. For 15%, we're going to divide by 10 and get that part, and then we're gonna halve our answer that we got and add that on. For 20%, we're gonna divide by 10 and then double our answer, and 25%, just going to divide our initial number by four. So what about we do a bigger amount now? Okay, what about we try a second example of $114? Okay, so what's that going to be? I'm gonna put the zeros in there. First off, 10%, we're just going to divide by 10. So 114 divided by 10, we move the decimal place one time. And we end up with a tip of $11.40, easy. So to work out a 15% tip, we'd work out that 10%, that $11.40, and we would halve this number here. So half of 11.40 is $5.70. We add these two guys together, and we get the answer of $17.10. Simple. 20% is just going to be double 10%, so that's going to be $22.80. So finally, to get 25%, we're just going to divide by four. So 114 divided by four, nice and simple, is $28.50. And when you're doing this, if you find this number a bit nasty, maybe what you'd do is you would round it to 110 or 120 to make it a little bit easier. And then you'd get a tip of about $30. It's not too bad anyway. So there you go. The easiest way of quickly working out tips. If you like this video, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe to the Tech Math channel. A big shout out to my patrons. Thank you as usual. We'll see you next time.